How's it going guys? This is Double Wide 6 and uh, we're looking at a little pressure washer I got from my neighbor. So uh, if we look at the specs on this thing it's a Generac gas powered pressure washer 1900 PSI 2 gallons a minute 3.5 3 and 3, and three quarter Briggs and Stratton. So my uh, neighbor told me I can have this thing and I happened to be uh, watching their dogs this week because they're away and he said it's in the garage and uh, you know I never really asked him what was wrong with it he just said it didn't work so I brought it home and uh, I uh, you know I put a little gas in it took a bunch of pulls but it did start eventually I changed the spark plug out and I got it running, and this thing is blowing like blue smoke like you wouldn't believe. So I turned it off, and it's been sitting about three hours. And if you look down here, you can see kind of like two streaks where oil's coming out. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull the head off this thing. I have, I have a feeling that it is uh, a blown head gasket. That's kind of what I'm hoping um, because there's just a lot of oil uh, burning and uh, we're going to take a look at it and try and diagnose if uh, it's a blown head gasket so first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to remove the uh, starter up here we'll pull off that metal and uh, then we'll remove the head and hopefully we have a blown head gasket uh, if, if it's not a blown head gasket it'll probably be uh, more work and it probably won't be worth uh, fixing at least in my opinion so we'll take a look at it together. So I uh, pulled the, the three bolts out of this uh, starter assembly and we'll pop that right off. And under there we can see the flywheel. And uh, I gotta tell you, I'm happy to see this oil down here. Uh, that to me is a sign that there's a problem with the head gasket. So I'm kinda hoping that's what it is. Next thing that we have to do is we're going to remove the head, which isn't too hard to do. We're just going to pull these bolts here pretty quick. And then we should be able to see in and see if the head gasket is ruptured. Alrighty. So we've taken a few minutes here. I've loosened up the bolts. And uh, I'm going to try and pull the head off. And I like to kind of keep the bolts right where they are so I know how they go back in the head if by chance we have a blown head gasket we'll just put a new head gasket on this and reattach it so hoping I can pull these bolts out and uh, now we can take a a look in here and see what's going on alrighty guys we got the head off I moved it out to where I have some light so you can see it a little better so we're going to flip it over and we're going to inspect it a little bit. You can see it has a, a pretty uh, thick carbon build up inside here. And uh, this gasket going around here is the head gasket. And what I was looking for was a break um, somewhere in this gasket. And as you can see, it looks like the, uh, the gasket has held up. Uh, pretty well, so that's bad news. Um, most likely, we have uh, scoring on the piston. So uh, we're going to go back and we're going to inspect the piston and we'll see what that looks like. Because the head gasket looks to be intact and uh, just looks like there's a lot of oil getting up in here. Well, it's night time and I don't know how well you guys can see it, but this is our piston. You can see there's a lot of carbon built up. I'm trying to light it with a flashlight a little bit for you guys. Um, yeah, anyhow, I don't know how well you can see it, but uh, yeah, this this particular piston is pretty much shot. It's scored uh, pretty bad. You can see uh, a whole lot of scoring all the way around. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but that's just a wall of oil that has gotten up past the piston. So I don't know if the rings are shot or what, but yeah, it's all scratched up. This 
this particular unit if I had a guess I would say it looks like it was run without oil in it and uh, it's shot so uh, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate um, but yeah this this piston is just scored beyond belief I'll try and zoom in for you guys so you can see a little better here we are zoomed in and you can see all the oil up top but man it's scored all the way across all the way around so yeah that one's pretty much shot and I don't even know if uh, the pressure washer pump is any good um, that looks kind of beat up too so I'll probably just keep some of the parts of this engine uh, just for parts Here's another look at the scoring. Looks pretty rough. So, I guess we're not going to be making a repair on this engine. Um, I'm double wide six. And uh, I appreciate you watching my videos. And if you're into some small engine stuff, I have a whole bunch of projects on underneath uh, my channel. So, thanks for watching and please subscribe. We'll see you.